All right, in this video, let's see how we can create MailChimp tags. And as I said, tags are just a way for you to label your customers or your subscribers. So you can label them based on the various activities or any kind of categories that you want to use to label your subscribers. In the section about groups and segments, I used an example whereby my subscription list consisted of buyers, who are buying the product to use at home and uh, suppliers who are buying the product to resell. So that was just an example and I'm going to use the same example in this case for tags. So if you want to create tags, the first thing you're going to have to do, you, you'll need to go inside of the list where you want to create the tag. And for me, I will go inside of this list, just go inside of list and choose, inside of list and choose the list that you want to work with. For me, I want to work with this list and then I will go under manage contacts and under manage contacts, I want to go inside of tags so that we can create a tag. So as you can see, I don't have any tags as of yet, but I want to create two tags. And the first tag I'm going to create is going to be a buyer buys to use at home. And then the second one will be for a supplier. So those are the two tags that I'm going to create. The first one is a buyer and the second one is just going to be a supplier. So if I click create tag, I can give the tag a name. And then I will create on tag, I'll create the tag. So after creating the tag, that's when you can, you can tag your various subscribers with the tag that you've added. And for that tag, you'll see if you come this side, you see you can send various campaigns and you can rename the tag, delete it. And if you already have people that have been tagged under this particular tag, you can export it as a CSV and maybe import it in a different account. So let's create a second tag and the second tag, I'll just call it a supplier. So the issue with tags is that tags is a very static, is a very static labeling system whereby you have to do it manually. If you want to tag your customers, you have to tag them manually. And that's why I was saying that it's, it's just much better for you to use groups if you want a situation whereby people are grouped according to a certain criteria. It's just much better to use groups. Groups are extremely dynamic and they are also they are also available for your sign up form. So that's one thing that makes groups really, really powerful. You can put it on your form and people will just choose the group that they want to be in and that will automatically add them to that group and you can send them campaigns based on the segments that you create for that group. So let's say that before you even had the tags, before you have any tags here and you already have a list that you want to import into MailChimp and you want to tag them at the same time, in that case, you can just come here and click on bulk tag and you'll be able to create a tag and import that CSV into that tag. So you can see, you can create the tag here and then you upload the file and it will be tagged under this, under this label that you create here. Or you can paste in a bunch of email addresses and you can decide whether the email addresses that you tag, that you paste inside here will be tagged as the tag that you've created or they will not be tagged or they will tag you'll tag everyone else except these emails so that's a choice that you have here that is if you already have a list that you want to import into mailchimp and you want to tag them so you can see that tagging is a very very manual process so right now i have tags but i don't have any contacts who've been tagged so let me go back into my list and I can click on this or I can click here to view contacts. So you can see we have this label of tags and all our contacts have not been tagged. So if you want to tag them individually, then you can just click on the various people that you want to tag and then you'd be able to tag them. Okay. So you can see that as soon as I click a few of these email addresses and these are fake email addresses so don't try to send them anything so if i click on any of this i can just come here and 
I can choose to add the tag and that will add the tag for these individuals and if I choose the others okay so let me deselect all and then I'll select the ones who have not been tagged and then once I do that I can just come in here and do the same thing add a tag of a supplier and so you'll see that all your tags have been added and the beauty and the thing about tags is that you can have you see this has been tagged as a supplier I can also tag them as I can also tag them as a buyer and that's going to give them two tags so you can have multiple tags for the same subscriber So what if you want to send campaigns to your tags? First of all, you're going to need to create. You need to, you'll need to create segments for the various tags that you have before you can send campaigns to them. So if you look up here, you'll see that we have this option. You can just click here to create a new segment. So I'll click on new segment. And you already know how to create, uh, how to create segments. So in this case, our segment is going to be based on tags. So if I click here, I can look inside of this to see which tags that I have. And you can create a tag whereby a contact is tagged or is not tagged. So of course you understand the difference between these two. So in this case, let's say that ours is a buyer. And if a buyer is tagged this, let's just preview the segment and then we're going to save it as a buyer. So when you give your tags a name, make sure it's something that you can recognize and use the same name for segments so that you can recognize it when you're sending campaigns. So I'll click on save segment so that I can save this buyer segment. And I'll just call it a buyer. And then I'll just click on save. And you can see that as a buyer, since everyone else, everyone in this group is tagged as a buyer, even the suppliers. So that means that if I want to go back to see my list, I'll just click on this X so that I can, I can remove the tagging. And then I will create a second segment. And the second segment that I want to create will be based on the a supplier tag. So I'll just click on create new segment and just go through the same process and I'll create tags is this time round a supplier and then I'll preview and save the segment. So this time round we are using a supplier. Okay, so our tag is created and you can see this time round, it only shows the tags that have, it only shows the subscribers who've been tagged as a supplier. So if I want to go back and see the entire list, I will just click on the X button. And if you want to send campaigns to these specific tags, you see that under tags, when you go under tags, you're able to send campaigns to them directly or in the process of creating, in the process of creating campaigns. And I showed you a video how you can create campaigns in that process. When you reach the section of choosing subscribers, you can choose a segment and you'll choose the segment that we've just created. In this case, we have created a buyer segment and a supplier segment. So if you were to send out a campaign, you then choose your campaigns to go out to those particular segments. Okay. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to use tags, you can see that tags is an extremely manual process. If you want something that automates itself, you're better off using groups. And if you saw how to create groups, you can just create the groups, have them on the form. And when people go to sign up on your form, they will choose the group that they want to be inside of. And that will, and that will in turn get added into the various segments that we created for the different groups. So if you're sending out campaigns or you're creating automations, then you would be able to choose those very segments, those various segments and send campaigns to them or set automations for those specific segments that are based on those groups. Okay. 
So if you have any question about this, feel very free to let me know. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.